Hey guys, Dirty Pooster here. Um, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use Nox. Uh, a lot of people come in my stream um, struggling with stuff, trying to figure stuff out. So I'm going to give you a quick tutorial. Uh, PokeVision's down right now, so I'm going to make do with an explanation rather than an actual um, instance where I show you exactly how to do it. Um, so what you need here is a home coordinate. You can get your home coordinate from PokeVision. Um, what I'm going to show you how to do this stuff with is Nox, PokeVision, and that's pretty much all you need. Um, this is what I've been using. I know uh, BlueStacks and other stuff works too, so you're not limited to just this. I'll try to get you guys some links to everything. You can get Nox by t typing uh, Pokemon Go and then um, Nox and you click that first link and then you go to Pikachu and then it'll download. Uh, Nox gives you everything you need. It gives you this map um, which is located by clicking this button. Um, so you click your location settings. Right here it's the fourth button down. Um, when you download Nox, another thing, it's gonna it's gonna automatically come with Pokemon Go on it and everything that you need. Uh, Pokemon Go takes a second to load up on it. It installs itself, so just be patient. Uh, I think it gives you the latest version. When you get this, it's going to have this huge compass right here. Uh, if you want to get rid of that, just simply click the second button down, like I just did. Hit save, and scroll this all the way to the left. Um, okay, as far as all that stuff, um, that seems pretty self-explanatory. If we come up with questions, just put them in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you guys. Uh, the next part is when you're trying to avoid a soft ban by teleporting. So I'm at, um, I'm gonna switch to my home location, which I have pre-saved. Um, I just keep it up here in the URL spot on my Google tab. So I'll hit Control C, and I'll hit Control V, and that's gonna take me to my predetermined location. This is going to be my home. Um, I'm going to travel here and right now I'm not currently soft banned. I won't be soft banned until I click this um, and then once you scroll on a Pokestop it'll exchange data um, and once you effectively capture or attempt to capture with a ball a creature it will um, exchange data then. So I should exchange data. This is just going to keep spinning because I effectively just soft ban myself. Um, I'm sure there's other ways, but the way I know to unsoft ban yourself is as follows. You're basically going to just pick a pokey uh, stop here and you're going to click and you're going to do this 40 times, which is kind of boring, but I'll show you how to avoid the soft ban as well. I'll also put these coordinates in the description. It's a six stop in Minnesota that you can set as your home base. Um, so basically for this video's sake I'm going to name this point A. Um, for fusion's sake. That way when I describe it later You'll kind of know what I'm talking about when I say point A. So this latitude and longitude is my point A. I'm sure down the road they're going to find spots with more than six Pokestops too, so people are pretty good about sharing and stuff when they learn how to do it. As you see, this takes a while, so... Um, I had a guy come in my stream last night, um, which my stream is Dirty Pooster, um, same as my title up there on the left at twitch.com if you guys want to stop in. Should be about done. You're going to know that you are on soft band because eventually when you keep spinning it, um, it's going to give you the items from the Pokestop. Oh, 
Whoops. At the rat attack. Which it doesn't matter if you, like I clicked him, it didn't matter it's on this part. I don't know if it's exactly 40 times, so if you count that I do this 43 times, you don't really have to leave a comment about it. Feel free, though. I could stop clicking this right at that. Sometimes it helps to change your angle, so you can click those Pokemon as easily. Alright, so it gave me the items. Now I know I'm not soft banned anymore. So, um, I'm at Minnesota and I can do anything I normally wanted to do, such as catch creatures, um, or etc. So if you're getting, um, like if I go to catch this Rattatat and I hit him with the ball and he instantly disappears on the first one, it's a good possibility that I'm soft banned. Um, as you saw earlier, if I just spin the icon in here, and it does nothing but spin, then I'm soft banned. Um, and you just use the steps I showed you to remove that. Okay, the next part is um, catching a creature and avoiding the soft ban. Uh, what you're going to do, and I can't do it because Pokevision is down, uh, whenever the trainer goes down, um, this goes down. But okay, hypothetically, I'll explain it. Um, and if you guys don't understand, I'll try to put another video out sometime of just this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to find a creature, and let's say the creature is a Snorlax and he's right here, okay? What Pokevision is going to do is when you click on that, when you click on that creature, it's going to give you Pokevision.com and a bunch of other stuff, and it's going to give you an at, and then it's going to give you the latitude and longitude. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste the latitude and longitude um, into Nox, and... So here's where my Snorlax is at. Make sure you zoom all the way in on your Pokevision map. It helps a lot um, to do that. Um, that way you're like right on top of the Pokemon. So I'm going to copy and paste here. Um, and then I'm going to hit Control V. Um, and what this is going to do, and I'm going to hit Geocode. And then this is going to move my map to uh, wherever this Pokemon's at. So let's say the Pokemon is here. Okay, so this is going to take me here. So when I hit Geocode, it's going to take me there. When I hit OK, it's going to effectively move me to that location. Okay, sometimes this does glitch. I'm glad that happened. That way I can show you guys that it does glitch. Um, so let's say, currently in Minnesota, let's say I find a Norlax in South Africa, right? So I hit OK. So now it just currently took me to South Africa. And you can move around, it doesn't matter. Um, let me go to somewhere where I know this far away that I can catch a Pokemon at. We'll go to Japan, a place, Japan is like the most densely populated um, country on earth, so you're going to catch all kinds of stuff here. Um, so we will go to Japan Disneyland, which is located right here. So we're going to go down here and we're going to, oh great, it does do this as well. It will shut down itself sometimes. So you just restart it. Click the fourth one down, it brings back up your location settings. Yeah, so it saved where I was at. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to soft ban me. So I had to re log. If it does, then we'll go through the steps again. 
but I'll just continue to explain how this worked. Um, so we're going to go back here. I'm going to go to get Disneyland. Okay. All right, so we're back in Disneyland right here. Now, if I go and hit one of these Pokestops while I'm traveling, um, it's going to uh, soft ban me. So I don't want to hit any of those. I want to just find a creature to catch, so that way I can demonstrate for you what exactly is going on. So at this point, all we did is we went from our home location to the location that it's going to give us um, on the Pokevision, where the, the Pokemon's located. So you want to capture everything after the at symbol. Even if there's a negative sign, make sure you get the negative sign in there too, because that's part of the latitude and longitude. Then you're going to plug it right into the geocode, like I showed you. Um, Hopefully there's something around here we can catch relatively quickly. I'm just trying to get this video out, by the way. The quality is not going to be the best or anything like that. I'm just getting it out so people have the information. Okay, so here we find an execute. So what we're going to do is, let's say this is the hypothetical Snorlax we were trying to get. Um, we click on it, and then we don't attack it or anything like that. We just leave the execute there. Um, then we come back to where we had saved our home coordinates, and we hit copy. So we're going to go in here, we're going to type our home coordinates. This is going to take me back to where I was at in Minnesota, and we're going to hit OK. Um, what this did was, behind the scenes, it took us back to Minnesota to the six points. And what we're going to do is we're going to continue to capture the creature. Um, it doesn't matter if it runs. Um, but obviously you're going to want to capture something if you took the time to do this and go find it. So our creature is captured. Um, and if you start from Minnesota and you went to Japan and then you clicked on the Pokemon and then you came back to Minnesota before capturing it, it won't soft ban you. Um, I might be soft banned just because the game logged out. Nope, I'm not soft banned. See, it gave me the items. so. Um, if it does log you out, then apparently it doesn't soft ban you until you do something to exchange information with the game, um, i.e. attack a gym or use a Pokestop. So you just want to use the Pokestops here. And these Pokestops, this is a great location. Look at all these Pokestops. They're on both sides. You can run down and fill your bag in one trip, and it's the same over here, um, both sides. So... Um, Pretty sure that's about everything basically there is to cover. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I have a really good uh, community on Twitch, so visit me at Dirty Dirty Pooster. Um, and one of my uh, admins in there or somebody in the community will get you sorted out if you need anything further. Thanks for stopping by.